Right, so today we are on the Kennet and Avon Canal. Uh, that way behind me there is Bath, that way ahead of me there is Bradford and Avon followed closely by London. Uh, and if you're wondering why <laughs> I'm laughing, it's because we've arrived here, there's a car park just behind the camera, we've arrived here just in time for the rain to start. So we're about to have a soggy stroll along the Kennet and Avon Canal. But the reason I've stopped here is I just want to show you something. One of the reasons I love this stroll, it's one of my favourites, is it's like a living history and geography lesson. Because the canal actually goes over the aqueduct and it goes over the river. Da, da, da. It also goes over a railway. Da, da, da. And there is a road that way. So basically you get a slice of the history of transport of humanity. You've got the river started, then you've got the canal, then the railway, then the road. Oh, all of life is here. Anyway, follow me and we'll go for a walk. started to rain. I didn't mind at first, but it's getting heavier now, so it's not so much fun. But luckily, I was prepared for rain, so I've got one of these, a tiny pocket umbrella. Let's see if it works, follow me. Walk this way. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it is quite wet and wild. And my little umbrella, my, hang on, can you see? Ta -da! My little umbrella is not doing a fantastic job. But you know what, I don't care. I would much rather be here, out and about, on the towpath of the Kennet and Avon. I would much rather be here than stuck at home, chained to my desk, thinking, yeah, what a gray and boring day. Hey, listen, listen. Train going past in the background. So we've arrived at our destination and that is -da, Avoncliff Aqueduct, which is right behind me. So we've walked three miles from the last aqueduct to this aqueduct and now we're going to go through that little archway there to the left and find a cafe. Good news, for Mabel at least it's good news. It's dog friendly, so we're going in. Come on, Mabel. So, another mile, another bench. And this one's lovely, got a great view. I've just watched a train go past. And down below me in the meadow, there is a heron on the grass hunting for something. Frogs, I guess, or mice or something. I don't know. Or litter. Anyway, it's a lovely place to stop and enjoy the scenery before we find ourselves back in the cafe. There you go, six miles there and back again. One cafe for a sandwich and tea. This cafe for coffee and ginger biscuits. And the rain stopped and it's been a beautiful walk. So hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by. Cheers.